Fresh off the UND Classic weekend, head coach Ashley Hardy now joins us. Ashley, you've got some uh, gals that they know how to go hunting, don't they? Well, Come I've been, on, make up the whole deal. I know, What's I saw up? the mirrors and everything. That's what happens in the woods, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what happens in the woods. You had a great and, uh, well, I guess it, it was successful the weekend of the UND Classic in, in that you grew great crowds and I think had a lot of enthusiasm for your squad. What'd you think? It was. It was a great weekend. It was, the environment in the Betty was fantastic over the weekend. You know, we, we'd love to win every game that we play, but, uh, but if we scheduled that way, it wouldn't necessarily be a, that fulfilling of a season. You know, in order to prepare us to win championships and to be, you know, in the hunt at the end of the season, uh, then, then we need to play teams like in Iowa State and, uh, and Texas A&M, you know, throughout each season. And then we'll always play our rivalry game, South Dakota State and the rest of the Dakota schools. But, uh, but it was a good weekend. Well, it goes by the boards. Ronnie Munkerby predicted an undefeated season, and you backed her up. So we got to start well, from scratch on that deal. Huh? We'll do the undefeated part in the big sky. How about that? There you go. Yeah. I'll take that for sure. <laughs> now, Coach, uh, you know, this weekend from what I saw, you certainly got your play that you expect out of your veterans like Parlick and Munkaby. But, uh, you know, your youngsters continue to evolve and get better. Uh, Lauren Clark and Mackenzie Hart were there for you last year, and they got to play like veterans now, but they're still young by standards. Uh, they, you know, they only have one season behind them, and then you can bring in like a Chelsea Moser, uh, who is uh, just kind of evolving and you know really kind of embracing all the court time that she receives. And I thought she did rather well with it, what she received this this week. Yeah, you know, it's interesting you talk about Lauren Clark and Mackenzie Hart to start with, and kind of and what our expectations of those guys, and uh, and gosh, they're sophomores. You know, and, and, and Lauren Clark played for one of the best clubs in the country in sports performance. She played the year round, but Mackenzie Hart played for a great high school team at Langdon, but didn't play year round volleyball really. And what she's been able to do uh, has really been fantastic. You know, Mackenzie actually led us in digs in the Texas A&M match. Now she basically only plays half the time. Lauren Clark plays the whole time. And that's no knock on Lauren. It's just how well that Mackenzie's been able to play this early in her career. And so we like what those two, uh, what those two offer us. And then Chelsea had really had a breakout game, I think, against Texas A&M. Uh, um, she's probably the middle of the future after Ronnie and Lisa graduate. Uh, we're trying to find some opportunities for her to play and get in, sometimes on the outside. She actually found a way on the, in on the right side in the rotation, but we had her hitting middle, and gosh, she went five for seven against Texas A&M and hit over 500 and, and helped us with a lot of blocks, too. She had a great weekend. And you talk about young. She's a redshirt freshman, but uh, you're saying age-wise, she should really just be a freshman. Oh, well, she should be. She came to us last year from Oregon, and, uh, and she skipped a grade in high school, and uh, you know, as some people do. And so last year with us, she should have been a senior in high school. This year, she'll be a true freshman. And so she's still got a whole lot of growing to do and, and uh, in her game and, and physically. And I think she'll continue to get stronger. And uh, she's going to be, she's got a really bright future. A few more weekends until the Big Sky. Talk about next weekend at Middle Tennessee State. Again, three quality opponents. They really are. Middle Tennessee is a great program. Uh, um, uh, Coach Peck has been there for a while. They actually made a Sweet 16 run just a few years ago, uh, beating Hawaii along the way. Um, we're going to also see Virginia Tech while we're there, and I believe they were picked fifth or sixth in the ACC preseason poll, uh, as well as Alabama, Birmingham, UAB, and Austin P as well. So uh, we're going to get four matches. There's five teams total there. We're going to get four matches in just two days. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of good volleyball while we're there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you being here and join us again, won't you? Okay, thanks. Coach Ashley Hardy of the UND volleyball team.